Hey bear. Hey bear. This is Lake Josephine, I believe. in the Grinnell Glacier Trail. We are now next to what I believe to be Lake Josephine, but dumbly we didn't take a map. Oh wait, you took a picture of it on the, on the board when we came in. Okay, so we have a map then, never mind. But it sure is pretty out here. It was a little, a little bit chilly this morning. We started uh, we started the morning only to check the weather and have it say 31 degrees, uh, which is a tad bit chilly. We layered up though, and now that we're moving, uh, we've warmed up significantly. We're unzipping. I took my hoodie off, took my gloves off, probably like 10 minutes into the trail. So, and we're very nervous from the other day. So we're calling out hay bear every chance we get. Not taking any chances, no blind curves. She a beaut. She might be. There might uh, one of these actually is a beaut. There are buttes around here. <laughs> hey, look, Mini Lake. Mini Lake. That's probably it's a what? Oh, well, you know. right there can't be sure but it, is, it does look like a big hunk of ice if you can even hear me over this wind through the trees I think that is our glacier Makes me feel like a great northern iceberg explorer. I feel like uh, is that Ernest Shackleton? I know he was he explored the Antarctic, but uh, that's the only explorer's name I really know. Who did stuff in frozen weather? Not really the same right now, but looking down the top of the jagged mountain, up at the iceberg and kind of how I feel, or the glacier, sorry, yeah, not iceberg, that's the ocean, but that's how it makes me feel. Let's go explore wild nature. Let's walk about a mountain. And this tree is very determined to live. A gnarled trunk, there's an old break in it, it goes up to Dump and it's just coiled around rocks and it's pretty wild. Oh, oh that's late. COVID. Yeah, true.
Hey, bear. Oh, is that what that was? <clears throat> Somebody just took a picture of it up close. They're like, hey, check this out. I don't have any context. I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah. I think that's just the way that stuff breaks off. Saw a moose, moose. From, from a distance, but and it was laying down. Oop, almost tripped, but we saw one. Yeah, that's not a good place to trip. It's pretty much straight down right there. So maybe I should watch. We climb higher. The glacier gets closer. Carry on. See off in the distance, past Christy, we have, there's Lake Josephine that we passed earlier. And then there's Lake Grinnell. And then up there, I believe that's Salamander Glacier. And I think up farther up here is Grinnell Glacier. Look at all those layers of sediment. Many, many, many eons. Sedimentation. And some big ass earthquake just pushed it up into the sky. Just past a little open area and some benches. I don't know how much farther we have, but I think uh, well the sign said quarter or 0.4 of a mile. So I think we have 0.4 of a mile, unless there's farther farther to go after that. I don't know, but we seem to be getting close. <laughs> Maybe that's. Indicator to the approaching hikers that you're almost there. Ooh, there's the glacier. We're now level with it. There's the glacier. Made it. Yes, 
block back ever. Yeah, this is just some serious wind. <laughs> 